He's turning blue. He's the guy. He's the dude from the other movie. <gasps> Whoa. I did not see that coming. Hi, everyone. And welcome back to my channel. I'm Sussis. Or Sus, and today I am reacting to X-Men First Class. We're going to see if this becomes five of five. Because currently it's four out of four of X-Men movies that I have enjoyed, very much enjoyed actually. So I'm really excited and a little bit nervous to jump into first class. I've heard that this is a few of you all's favorite X-Men movie. So like hopefully my expectations aren't too high or anything like that. Sometimes if you hear a lot of good reviews about something, it can kind of set you up to have unrealistic expectations so hoping that ain't gonna happen with this if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet i would super duper much appreciate the support and if you'd go ahead and like and comment on this video to help it out in the algorithms thank you very much let's get started Oof. ominous music like right off the bat okay I feel like I need to brace myself. This is similar to the intro of the first X-Men movie, right? This is Magneto's childhood. I was like, wait, is it not moving? But it is. All right, so we're still in the past, but... Who is this? Is this supposed to be no it can't be magneto go on back to bed i'll make you a hot chocolate who are you that's not his mom oh my gosh she's a kid mistaking magneto no wait this is not magneto this is xavier charles xavier raven oh they're so cute Evolution. Du weißt, wovon ich rede, oder? I guess he doesn't know that he is a mutant at this point. But this man knows about mutants. Das einzige Gute bei den Nazis ist, dass ihre Methoden anscheinend Erfolg haben. Es tut mir leid, Eric. Why is he saying sorry? What is that room? Mama. What are they gonna do to her? Oh. Eins. Mama, du schaffst das. What if he can't do it? Is he actually gonna shoot her? Come on, move it. You can do it. You can do it. Alles ist gut. Alles ist gut. Drei. No. no. Please tell me he is able to get his revenge on this man. And he's just there laughing. What kind of psychopath is this doctor dude? Du und ich. Wir werden zusammen viel Spaß haben. He's calling this fun. We already knew some of the stuff that Magneto surely went through from the first movie, but this having to witness his mother's death, knowing that he could have prevented it if he had control over his abilities. Oh, so now we have a young Magneto. And he's looking for revenge. I understand him. I can't I can't blame him for wanting revenge. Ooh, cool eyes. You are a mutant. First you proposition a girl and then you call her deformed. How is that seduction technique working for you? I'll tell you in the morning. 
Oh. <laughs> well, he's confident at least. I'm sorry, this is my sister, Raven. Hi, Amy. That's Mystique. Oh, look, you have heterochromia too. Sorry, what? Look at her eye. I actually have heterochromia as well. Don't talk to me. You did that on purpose. I did not. Yes, Why did. would I do it on purpose? You know I can't control it sometimes if I'm stressed or I'm you tired. You be doing a perfectly good job right now. Why is he having an issue with her showing her eyes like that? A small slip up is one thing. A big one does not bear thinking about. So they're in hiding right now. Would you date me? Of course I would. And a young man would be lucky to have you. You're stunning. Looking like this. I, you, what? Yes. I'm sleepy. Will you read to me? I can't. I have my thesis coming up. I have to study. Oh, fine. Read that. Your thesis always sends me right off. To Homo Neanderthalensis. What a cute friendship. La détention de cet or est illégale. Où vient cet or? Yeah, where did he get a whole gold bar? Et vous allez m'aider à trouver les salauds qui ont fait ça. Oh. <laughs> oh, does he have a metal filling? Mm. Oh, I half expected a toot to come out with it. Si vous prévenez qui que ce soit de mon arrivée, je vous retrouverai. I'm surprised he retrained, retained himself and didn't kill that person. Do you see that? Hello, girls. What, what are you doing? Using some equipment the CIA didn't give me. Stay put. That's kind of smart. Emma Frost, Sebastian Shaw's associate. And where is Mr. Shaw? We're having a party. And here's the entertainment. I love the sparkly underwear. And nobody like shakes that the the women are all employed. She just walks in there. Seems like very little security for such an event with such seemingly important people. Hey baby, you wanna find a quiet place? I'm so sorry. I've been booked by Colonel Hendry. But the Colonel was already busy with someone. And he is not there anymore. What happened to him? Secret door. Okay, that's cool. The only thing I will reconsider is having another glass of that delicious champagne. What's with the music? Oh, a mutant. Whoa, crystal lady. Cool. Oh. We don't want the colonel to be late. Late for what? Hmm. People don't disappear. Colonel Henry was there. He That's was the there, dad McCoy. in the Dexter, hell, right? Like... Colonel Henry. Colonel Henry is here, so unless he magically traveled 3,000 miles in the last 10 minutes. He did. Looks like Henry wants to start World War III. I got bigger things to deal with right now, McTaggart. Sir, I... Yeah, no, no one is going to believe her without proof. Well, now what? We find an expert on genetic mutation. And that's gonna be Xavier. Whoa, what a beautiful mountain. Argentina. I don't know anything about Argentina. That's a photo of the doctor, right? In the middle? Is this his bar? What's your name? What's your name? Your name was weggenommen. Schweinebauern? And Schneider. And they're just gonna drink to that. They're definitely nervous though. Yeah, that ain't gonna help you. So the doctor brought some friends with him to Argentina. Let's just say I'm Frankenstein's monster. I don't think that you're a monster, Eric. I think you turned kind of into one. What is this? <laughs> what kind of thing is that? 
I say MCR1, you would say Auburn hair. It's a mutation. It's a very groovy mutation. He is very drunk. Still drinking champagne, Bob? I will pass. Is this guy the doctor? The one in the white suit? Oh, I knew better than to trust you. You let me walk out of here with my money. Oh. Or I will pull this pin. Where are they gonna kill him? Go ahead. Pull it. I'll do it, I swear to God. He doesn't seem like the type who would kill himself, does he? No, you won't. But I will. Whoa. Scheiße. Whoa. He can absorb stuff? That's the boring part. The fun stuff is what I can do with it once I've got it. Oh, what can he do? Oh, he can like let it go again? This meeting is over. Uh, please sit down, Agent McTaggart. I didn't really expect you to believe me. Are they gonna reveal themselves? I could ask you about your son, William, who you were thinking about, which is very nice. But I think I'd rather ask you about the Jupiter missiles America are currently placing in Turkey. Well, that got their attention. Oh. Mystique coming in to help. I cannot take you anywhere else without permission from upstairs. Would you like to see one more magic trick? Okay. Get in the car. Good idea. So the guy on the boat in that suit is the doctor. The reason why he doesn't look the way I would expect him to do is that he can stay young with that energy move. The Kleine Eric Lenze. He's here to kill you. Whoa. That's really uncomfortable. This crystal lady is yeah. almost what mystique is for Magneto later on. I have a telepath. I've lost sure. There's something blocking me. This has never happened to me before. I think there's someone like me on that ship. Was Charles able to do that? Block other people? Stop, 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 stop. Oh, yeah. Charles! Are you okay? There's someone else out there. This is how they meet for the first time? The beginning of their friendship? Oh, is he gonna get them? Oh! Ah, they managed to get down below. Oh, it has a built-in, like, submarine thingy. It's gotta be made out of metal, though, so can't Eric control it or make it collapse? Let it go! You have to let it go! He's so close, he's not gonna wanna let it go. Why is he not able to make a dent in it? I know what this means to you, but you're going to die. Please, Eric, calm your mind. He saved his life? So we're to be the CIA's new mutant division, yes? Something like that. Is this the start of the X-Men? Is that what they're gonna become? Supersonic. Most advanced plane ever built. That is their plane. How wonderful. Another mutant already here. Why didn't you say? Say what? He didn't know. So your mutation is what? You're super smart? I wish that's all it was. You're among friends now, Hank. You can show off. Okay, why do you take off the shoes? Oh! He got hands for feet? Oh. <laughs> <Ta -da. laughs> okay, that's kind of cute, but a little creepy at the same time. You're amazing. Really? That must be nice for her to see someone who has a mutation that isn't about an ability, but what you look like. If that telepath gets inside your head, he won't be as much fun as I am. Already in hand, my love. How is he gonna handle it? Oh! Helmet! Russians. That's like the thing that Magneto is wearing later on to block 
uh, shawls, right? What am I thinking? She can't tell. I was thinking that you are the most exquisite thing I've ever seen in my life. Aww. And that this needs eyes. Surely you can get your own eyes, dude. Ever since I was a little boy, you have no idea what I'd give to feel normal. Aww, they understand each other. Charles has never understood. He's different, but he's never had to hide. I think this serum that you're making, it doesn't affect abilities, right? Just appearance. Is this the cure that was in the third movie? Hank, you weren't being forward. That's kind of what I meant. No, but I'm just sorry if you thought I was. I'm sorry that you weren't. Aww. Go ahead. Take the blood. Maybe not right over whatever food that is. Sorry, did I hurt you? Kinky. Maybe not the right moment to interrupt? I wouldn't change a thing. Hmm. Already then he was supportive in that way that you should be proud over your mutations and being different. Hmm. Why is he stealing it? Couldn't he just read it there? I'm sorry, Eric, but I've seen what Shaw did to you. I've felt your agony. I can help you. In what way? Shaw's got friends. He could do with some. Very, very true. And you all kind of want the same thing, right? Turn that radar installation into a transmitter. It's designed to amplify brain waves so it could enhance your telepathic powers. It looks like a golf ball. Charles and I find the mutants. No suits. First of all, that's my machine out there. Second of all, much more importantly, this is Charles's decision. I'm sorry, but I'm with Eric. We'll find them alone. So this ties into when they were visiting Jean. Oh, is that Sebribro? What was it called? Something like that. Oh, I think it actually... Is it? I, yeah, uh, like an early version of it. call it Cerebro. Oh, yeah, Cerebro. <laughs> I wonder who is the first uh, mutant that they find. Is it going to be like Wolverine or... We were thinking more. We'll show you ours. If you show us yours. Baby, that is not the way it works around here. Is that supposed to be Storm or...? It is not Storm. Whoa! Oh, it's a fairy! How would you like a job where you get to keep your clothes on? He said that like it was a perk. Clothes can be rather uncomfortable sometimes. That's a six-hour drive. That will give us plenty of time to talk. What was his ability, though? Excuse me, I'm Eric Lentra. Tales Xavier. Go fuck yourself. It's Wolverine! Wait, they're not... They're just gonna not talk to him? That's disappointing. There's nothing on radar. Nothing. Sonar. Yeah. Then we have a problem. What's the problem with that there's nothing on the radar? They've gone lost? Oh. What's that room? We have a situation. The telepath. I shouldn't be able to feel him at this distance. It's like his reach is... amplified. He can sense them with Cerebro. I could feel them. Their isolation, their hopes, their ambitions. We can help them. Can we? Yes, you can. Identification, that's how it starts. And ends with being rounded up, experimented on, eliminated. He's true in that, though. We're government agents now. We should have secret code names. I want to be called Mystique. Damn, I wanted to be called Mystique. <laughs> well, tough. I called it. Whoa! <laughs> well, uh, Darwin's already a nickname and, you know, sort of fits. Adapt to survive and all. Check this out. Oh, now we get to see Oh, whoa. He grows. Oh, what are those things called that you breathe with underwater? 
banshee. Why do you want to be named after a wailing spirit? You might want to cover your ears. Can he break the glasses? Oh, whoa! You can fly? Uh-huh. And, um... Whoa! Acid spit! What's your name? <laughs> How about Bigfoot? <laughs> well, you know what they say about guys with big feet? And, uh, yours are kind of small. <laughs> mm. I'm, I just can't do it. I can't do it in here. Can you do it out there? Why don't you just do it out there? Come on, Come on. Alex. 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 Does that mean that it's something bad or destructive? Get back. Whoa! Ah, not bad. Plane leaves for Russia in an hour. I'm telling you, these kids are not ready for sure. I think they're going to surprise you. They're an exceptional bunch of young people. What the hell? Uh, and they're just partying. <laughs> what are you doing? They're just having some fun. We have to call him Havoc. That's his name now. And we were thinking. You should be Professor X, and you should be Magneto. So that's how they came up with the names. I expect more from you. Surely they can glue the statue back together again. We got a problem. What? I'm so sorry, this wasn't on the map. Oh, checkpoint? He's gonna do some kind of mind trick on whoever looks in the back? So we had a show. Yeah. All right. I didn't know he could do that. If she's a telepath and I read her, she'll know we're here. Let me try something else. I think she already knows that they're there, right? We're here for Shaw. Mission aborted. The hell it is. Eric. She's his right hand woman. The CIA invading the home of a senior Soviet official. Are you crazy? I'm not CIA. Yeah. What did they expect? You know, I can't talk about those things, Miss Frost. Emma. And don't worry. You don't have to say a word. She will just keep him distracted so he thinks about stuff and uh, sh she can then pick up on it. We have to do something! Like what? We're moving out! You, you can't! Yeah, it's not like they can stop him. What are they gonna do? I don't think that the woman is gonna give Shaw up though. She seems way too loyal for that, like willing to die for him loyal, right? Oh, she can do that too. That must have been funny to you to film. Go to sleep. Oh. He can put people to sleep as well? We've never seen him do that before, have we? Where's Shaw? I doubt she'll say anything. Okay. Oh. He's gonna end up killing her, Ray. Hey, that's enough. She won't. She won't talk. I don't think so. Eric, that's enough. Oh, is he gonna stop? Ah, huh. that surprises me. I really thought that she was gonna die before letting them find Shaw through her. Why does this Shaw want a nuclear we are war? The children of the atom. Radiation gave birth to mutants. What will kill yeah. the humans will only make us stronger. He wants to become some kind of world leader. CIA will want to question you themselves. Oh, I doubt it. I have bigger things to worry about right now. Oh, is Shaw coming here? Guys being stupid, I can handle. Okay, I've handled that my whole life. But I'd rather a bunch of guys stare at me with my clothes off than the way these ones stare at me. I can see her point. What was that? Yeah, that is Shaw incoming. No news of Shaw? 
Not a peep. Not even through that back channel. Yeah, you ain't gonna need a back channel. You're gonna be able to see him with your own two eyes. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know why that's what is scaring that? me. Oh, is he just gonna drop? <gasps> no! Send back up now! He's immune to being shot as well. Is he just absorbing the energy of the shots and that's how he is fine? So he's kind of indestructible? Stay here, my ass! Let's go! They're gonna fight? I guess they have a better chance than the humans. Whoa! Holy... Are they gonna fight them or are they just gonna like... Alright, we'll go with you. What does he want with them? Like recruit them to his team? You can stay and fight for the people who hate and fear you. Or you can join me and live like kings. That's not what he wants though, because he wants to be above people. So he doesn't want a bunch of fellow kings and queens. Because then he is not special and he is not in power. Oh, she is seduced by that. It's interesting how similar Shaw's aspirations are to Magneto's in the other movies. Even though, like, they, the reason behind it is different. This man is after power. Magneto is after security, safety. So tell me about your mutation. Well, I adapt to survive. So I guess I'm coming with you. Is he though? I feel like... Oh... Is he able to adapt and protect himself against that? Oh no. No, 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 no. Is he gonna die? Or he's fine? Or no? He's not fine. You're kissing a cubian. <laughs> and they don't want war? I can't remember if there's missile on Cuba. Cool. They're is there? Oh! Shit, that scared me. Yeah, he ain't gonna give you a choice. Darwin's dead, Charles. And we can't even bury him. We can avenge him. They're just kids. No, they were kids. Shaw has his army. We need ours. So he's just gonna use them for his own benefits. I don't think he actually cares about Darwin, right? We'll have to train. All of us. Huh. Charles surprises me with that. The law says we've got to turn her over. The law applies to human beings. The same laws don't apply to mutants. They got her in captivity? Oh. She could just make a little window? I wouldn't call it a war exactly. That suggests both sides stand an equal chance of winning. That's a good point. Is this a boat with missiles on it? If that ship crosses the line, they will have declared war against the United States. We will have no choice but to retaliate with a full nuclear response. Yeah, let's be the cause of our own demise, right? This is yours. No, it's ours. Is this what becomes the school? I think so, right? Yeah. I don't know how you survived living in such hardship. Well, it was a hardship softened by me. I would not have guessed from the earlier movies that Mystique and Charles were this friendly with each other, like had been friends for this long. Me dojni paslato danas flot. I mi pašno. And they're just clapping their hands as if it's, I don't know, an award show or something. The Soviet Union reacted by terming it a step along the road to unleashing a thermonuclear war. But this bomb even got invented to begin with. You're sure? I'm sure. Uh. You're always telling me I should push myself. If you know you can deflect it, then you're not challenging yourself. Is he gonna move the big thingy in the background? My stepfather took the possibility of nuclear hmm. war quite seriously no. this way. 
That's why he had this bunker built down here. Ah, so this is the basement that turns into the whole like X-Men facility where they have Cerebro and all of that. Maybe you're ready. Ooh. <laughs> That's a lot of fire. You're sure that this will work? Hmm. Anything is What's possible. What's that? I based the design. Hey, stop talking. Like wings? What's up? And don't forget to scream. Shouldn't he at least wear like a helmet or something just in case? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh. If you're using half your concentration to look normal. Then you're only half paying attention to whatever else you're doing. Yeah, he's probably right with that. You want society to accept you. But you can't even accept yourself. That's a really good point. Alright, try hitting the one in the middle, just the one in the middle, mind. Good luck. Hmm. Whoa! Oh, okay, the aim is a <laughs> The aim is a little off. I wanna die! All right, look, we're not going to make you do anything you don't feel good. Okay, oh! oh my gosh, come on. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> that is cool. All right, Alex, I want you to hit the X. And try not to hit me. That's a good chap. You're serious. I'm very serious. Oh. I have complete and utter faith in you. That is some high stakes. Wow, he did it! Well done! <laughs> See that? Try turning it to face us. Ah, so we are gonna see that. <sighs> I believe that true focus lies somewhere between rage and serenity. Between rage and serenity. Those are quite opposite, aren't they? There's so much more to you than you know. Not just pain and anger. It's good too, I felt it. When you can access all that, you'll possess a power no one can match. That's a really beautiful scene. He'll be able to do it now? Yes! He's doing it! That's where we're gonna find Shaw. How do you know? Two superpowers facing off and he wants to start World War Three. So much for diplomacy. I suggest you all get a good night's sleep. How are they gonna defeat him though? He seems undefeatable. Unkillable. The world is primed for war, and there's no one to stop me. About that? Hopefully, they will be able to stop you, Ray. Right? They will stop him. I have a surprise for you. Is that the like the cure? It, it won't affect our abilities, just our appearance. Should we have to hide? No. You're beautiful, Hank. Everything you are, you are perfect. We are different, but we shouldn't be trying to fit into society. Society should aspire to be more like us. Mutant and proud. And this time she means it. My feet in your natural blue form will never be deemed beautiful. You don't have to be beautiful. You look beautiful now. She's beautiful when she's blue. We need Dude. this cure. No. Oh my gosh. What you meet Sack looks like is also so freaking temporary. But I guess easy for me to say, to some degree, I fit into the beauty standard of our messed up society. I'm not gonna stop Shaw. I'm gonna kill him. Surely Shaw's knew that. Can't be surprised by the killing part, right? Killing Shaw will not bring you peace. I do believe that he is right. It won't make him feel any better. But I do understand the inclination though. Is he really gonna take it? Oh, he is. What if it doesn't work? Why if he did something wrong? Oh, something is gonna happen. Oh. Oh, does it keep growing or what? Oh, whoa. He's turning blue! He's the guy! He's the dude from the other movie! <gasps> Whoa! I did not see that coming! Maybe in a few years. How about now? 
I prefer the real Raven. Now you're your true one, and you're blue. Could you pass me my robe? You don't have to hide. Have you ever looked at a tiger and thought you ought to cover it up? All your life, the world has tried to tame you. It's time for you to be free. Aww. In this, in this, Eric is a truly amazing person. Hank, he tells me that he's found the answer to your cosmetic problem. She doesn't have a cosmetic problem. You're gonna tell me what's the matter, or do I have to read your mind? You promised me you would never do that. Until recently, I never had to use my power to know what you were thinking, Raven. He is a bit of a control freak. Do we really have to wear these? There's none of us mutated to endure extreme G-force or being riddled by bullets. I suggest we suit up. Is this when they turn into the X-Men? Where's Hank? I'm here. I guess maybe the name Hank should have been a clue for me, but I didn't remember that that was his name. It didn't attack the cells. Yeah, it is him. It enhanced them. Never look better, man. Oh! Hank? Don't mock me. I don't think he was mocking you. I wasn't. Even I gotta admit you look pretty badass. I think I got a new name for you. Beast. It's so cool to get to see how it all started. I'm loving this. Three minutes to the embargo line, sir. God help them if they cross it. Won't the bomb go off if they attack the boat? Gun bombs. Target cargo ship. Surely if they attack it, it will go off and they're all dead, right? Because those wests are not going to save them. Oh. Something is blocking the message. Stand by to fire. Standing by, sir. Oh. They're here. I feel like the plane looked more shiny in the other movies, though. On my count. Five. Four. Oh, you gotta do something! You gotta do something! Whoa! Oh. How's that gonna help? Uh. The Russians, they have fired on their own ship. Huh, so that doesn't start a war then. They say the comrade lost his mind. The Americans are applauding. He will know. Mm. How did the bomb not go off though? Well, then he must be underwater. And obviously we don't have sonar. Don't you? Yes, we do. Yeah, exactly. Three, two, one, oh, I hope he's ready for this. <sighs> Whoa, good job. They got your location now. You ready for this? Let's find out. Is he gonna like try and pull it out of the water? Oh, okay. I think this is gonna be rather cool. So is this thing that he's inside now some kind of nuclear thing? Is that safe? Oh. Was his face showing like his real age there for a second? Remember, the point between rage and serenity. <gasps> He's doing it! Oh my gosh! Good job, Eric. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I guess the cat is out of the bag now with all these people witnessing this magic what is shaw doing in that reactor though oh he's gonna do something oh oh no he lost it oh well at least they can't drive away now since you know they're stranded on the beach surely they can't be okay in there like He's in a reactor room, in a vessel, 
that's been tumbling around. That explains why the plane looks a little different. They're probably gonna make a new one because they crashed this one. I read the teleporter's mind. So was drawing all the power out of his sub, turning himself into some kind of nuclear bomb. Oh, he's gonna absorb the nuclear bomb. He's absorbing it into himself like we've seen him do with other stuff and then he's gonna release it. How is that not gonna kill him though? Disable it. Ha ha! No more nuclear reactor for you. Question is though, has he already absorbed enough? He's not here! He's left the sub! What? He's got to be there! He has to be! There's nowhere else he can be! Keep looking! And I'm telling you he's not! There's no one here, goddammit! He's behind you. So good to see you again. Hmm. Is he hoping to be able to manipulate Eric? He's gone. What? He's gone into the void. I can't communicate with him there. Oh. I'm sorry for what happened in the camps. I truly am. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, a crack. He's back. It's working. I'm starting to see him, but I can't yet touch his mind. It's because he has the helmet on, right? Take the helmet off. Isn't it made out of metal? Can't he just, like, pull it off? We are the future of the human race. You and me, son. How dare you call him that? Everything you did made me stronger. Is it the truth? I've known it all along. But? But? You are my creator. <gasps> oh, Charles! <gasps> He's going to kill him, right? Be the better man. You have it in. But I don't trust you. Eric, there will be no turning back! So this is where he completes the transformation to, in a way, become Shaw himself. I'd like you to know that I agree with every word you said, but unfortunately, you killed my mother. He still has the coin. He's gonna kill him with a the coin? There's something kind of poetic about that. Awful, but poetic. And Charles can feel that pain. Why does he stay in his mind? Oh, it went right through. Yeah, there's no way he survives that, right? And so Magneto was born. We can end this threat for good. We'll never have another opportunity like this. We have an agent on that beach. She's collateral damage. I feel their guns moving in the water. Their metal targeting us. Go ahead, Charles. Tell me I'm wrong. He's not gonna be wrong, you see. They are actually going to attack. Yeah. Humans really are the worst creature on this planet. The beach is secure. Call off the attack. The beach is targeted and ready to be fired upon, sir. Stand by. They're not gonna care. Fire! A gun! How are they surviving this? Is, is Eric gonna take them and redirect them? That is a lot of bombs. Holy. Is he just gonna let them go or is he redirecting them? Oh, yeah. Eric, you said yourself, we're the better men. Yes. This is the time to prove it. Listen to Charles. Innocent men. They're just following orders. I've been at the mercy of men just following orders. Never again. I do agree about that following orders is not a get out of jail free card that some people think that it is. I don't think it justifies this though. Gentlemen, it's been an honor serving with you. Well, he is definitely making them an enemy with this though. He confirming their fears <gasps> oh my 
god, I never thought about that. How we ended up in the wheelchair. I never... This is... <gasps> oh... It was Eric's fault. I... Oh my... You... You did this. Don't blame her! No! Oh my gosh. You have to take accountability for your own actions. We want the same thing. Oh, my friend, I'm sorry, but we do not. So this is where they part ways, and I guess Mystique goes with Eric. The humans have played their hand. Now we get ready to play ours. Who's with me? No more hiding. That's gotta be a hard choice. You should go with him. It's what you want. I'm sorry. I get her though. Charles never fully accepted and embraced her, but Eric Magneto did. In this week of Thanksgiving, there is much for which we can be grateful. As we look back to where we stood only four weeks ago. Is that actual footage of a speech that he made? One day the government is going to realize how lucky they were to have Professor X on their side. Yeah. I suppose I'm a real professor now, aren't I? Next thing you know, I'll be going bald. <laughs> You're your own team now. It's better. You're X-Men. <laughs> and that's where it was born? I'll never tell them where you are. Brenda. Oh. All that time wiped clean from your mind. Just gone. Sometimes I get fragments. Like... A kiss. Oh, Jesus. Gentlemen, this is why the CIA is no place for a woman. Oh! Wh <sighs> oh, yeah. oh, they're breaking her out? I know we've had our differences. Oh, he's found himself a cape. Eric, I believe. I prefer... Magneto. That's a rather cool outfit, though. I can see totally what some of you all were saying in the comments, that this is your favorite X-Men movie. I was a little worried before that it was going to be too hyped up for me and that was gonna be like like i was gonna have too much expectations and maybe i wasn't gonna like this movie at all but i'm really really pleased to say that i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this movie like this might be might be my favorite out of them all so far how i'm feeling right now right after having seen it we will see what my thoughts land on when i've had some time to digest the movie and think a little bit about it but this was this was great i didn't know what it was gonna be about at all like i didn't have any kind of expectation i think the only expectation i kind of felt like was i thought that this was gonna be a in the future movie i thought we were gonna maybe jump back to the future after the third movie I did not expect it to be in the past, but I'm really pleased about that. I think it was wonderful to get to see the start of Xavier's and Magneto's or Eric's friendship. Like seriously, and we got to see how Charles ended up in the wheelchair. That kind of like, <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that he's in a wheelchair in the other movies because he was obviously walking as a, as a young boy. He was walking uh, all through the entire movie, right? Like, and it never actually occurred to me that like, wait, he's walking. When did he end up in the wheelchair? So that, that moment took me really, like I was shocked, even though I shouldn't have been because I knew, right? <laughs> I don't know, it was just completely out of out of my mind and i i had no inclination about that mystique and charles went this far back and it was also amazing to get to see hank to get to see beast how he became beast because i had like some questions about him in that third movie that was great yeah no this might end up being my favorite x-men 
movie. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this movie. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and give the video a little like and check out my Patreon if you're interested in the entire reaction of this movie or maybe some of the other reactions I have done. Your support over on Patreon and here really helps me out. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I will see you next time. Bye.